Hey guys and welcome to another video of Gus Random Reviews. In this video, I will be reviewing the Pocket Size Stylophone, the original pocket synthesizer device toy. Back in 1968, uh, this gadget was invented in London by a fellow named Brian Jarvis of Dubrec Company. It was designed with the idea to be able to play the simplest of musical textures consistent of a melody typically played by one single instrument player. As you can see, the design is made up with a single oscillator, which is an electronic device which is controlled by a metal plate with 20 keynote keyboards, which are printed directly on a PCB board. This allows for the device to produce a unique organ and electric sounds. As it stands, what makes the xylophone a unique instrument toy? It is the distinctive sound that is hard to replicate by any other instrument. And like many other artists throughout time, it has been used to incorporate music sounds within their music. So you have the main unit, as you can see here. And within the unit, you will find an on and off switch, which is located right here on top. Right next to the power switch, you will have a vibrato switch, which is utilized for enhancing the expression of the keynote. You also have a headphone jack for personal audio. You also have a unique control tune base right here at the bottom. You also have a stylus, which is here, which cannot be uh, detached from the main unit, as you can see. Uh, you also have a 20 note keyboard, which is printed. Uh, you have the volume dial for low and to enhance the sound. You also have a three octave settings to change the pitch of your keynotes. And at the bottom, you have your uh, battery base, which utilizes, I believe, is three double A batteries. Let me show you how this works. So you turn on the device, then you grab the stylus and you invoke a distinctive sound within the keynotes. So you invoke the sound by simply touching the metal plate of each of the notes, which are close to a circuit with a voltage control oscillator. Uh, so basically, this is what creates the distinctive and primitive buzzing tone that you hear once the keynotes are pressed. You also have the vibrato, which I mentioned earlier. It is for adding additional emphasis on a note. So let me show you the before. So the before goes something like this. It goes, uh, but once you turn on the vibrato, you'll hear that emphasis. Uh, so remember, you can only emphasize the vibrato if you hold the note as long as you desire. In regards to the tune base, which is at the bottom, now this is used uh, for giving this device a specific keynote of a deep note. So let me go ahead and, and see, switch it all the way up and you'll hear the difference. As mentioned, it also has the volume. Now, the volume itself is pretty self-explanatory. You can 
go low, turn off the volume, or you can go high to increase the volume of each of the keynotes. So if I go, you know, higher or if I go low, you'll definitely see here the difference. So here is what it sounds low. You can barely hear it. If I go high, you can see the difference. To also change the pitch sound of each of the keynotes, you have these octaves settings right at the bottom of the bass. So you have three different settings. You have one, two, three. Uh, listen to the first one first. Now let me switch it to number two. You see it goes a little higher. If I go number three, it goes even higher. As you can clearly see, this uh, device toys is very versatile. It can give you different sounds, different tones, just by simply setting the and changing the settings via the vibrato or even from the tune of the bass and even to the octaves. You have many, many different noises that you can work with. Um, basically, it is an awesome device for... For, and for many, it can consider to be a cool toy. Now, what I personally like about this xylophone is how easy it is to play. Uh, obviously, of course, it's just to play the simplest song. You know, songs like Happy Birthday and other songs. And you can definitely master this device and play a variety of songs with lots of practice. Now, I've had this for a couple of days now. And, you know, I try to play as much as I can so I can master it and... It's, it's just fun, you know, lots of noises and, and, and the unique sound. It's, it's basically what I really enjoy about it. Now, um, another thing about this device toy is that it can tailor to the likes of anyone, you know, from small children to adults. Uh, my kids love this device because of the electric sound it makes. I also like that the stylus, which is this one here, is attached and it cannot be lost, especially with, you know, small children. Um, I do have to say though, it would have been nice to have a rechargeable battery as opposed to the three double A's, uh, double, uh, three uh, double A's batteries, especially maybe with a type C input instead of replacing the batteries, you know, every other day, not every other day, but you know, once in a while, once the batteries start to drain, but I think it would be nice to be rechargeable instead of the main batteries. But other than this, I think it's a really fun device for any occasion and any gifts. Um, you know, the speakers themselves are, are really loud and you can definitely turn the volume off or if you want to hear it just by yourself, you can utilize the, you know, the audio output here. Uh, it's small, very compact and, you know, it's not that heavy. Obviously, it is made out of, you know, some hard plastic, but if you drop it a couple of times, like any other, you know, device is definitely going to... Uh, crack so I really don't recommend dropping it or throwing it around um, Other than that, I think um, it's it's fun. Uh, definitely you will enjoy it and I definitely do recommend it uh, Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and I appreciate you. Take care